This is Vader Reviews. We are honored that you would join us. Once again, my hunt through the bounty of Star Wars fan films has turned up something of great interest. Released on June 19th, 2021, by 18-year-old filmmaker Brad Kendrick, The Mandalorian, Chapter 16.5, The Hunting, takes place shortly after my son, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, has taken everyone's favorite green space Muppet baby in order to train him as a Jedi. Produced on a budget of $4,000, is the force with this film, or will it choke on its aspirations, director Kendrick? Let's find out. And when I last checked, this fine lad here only had 563 subscribers. A link to his channel is in the description of this video. Once we're through here, subscribe to his channel and tell him Vader Reviews sent you. Now with that out of the way, let's start this bad boy in 3, 2, 1. The Mandalorian. I miss that show. Chapter 16.5, The Hunting. At least I have the Book of Boba Fett to look forward to in October. Can't wait for that show. It'll be great to see Tamora back in action. Looks like we got the Razor Crest 2.0 here. That's nice. Oh, that's an amazing Mando costume. Impressive. Most impressive. So he's tracking a bounty. Is he tracking a piece of pizza? I wouldn't mind going for a slice myself. I wonder where they filmed this. This location is great. Feels like something right out of episode 4. Has a lot of scope. A little tracking beacon here. Oh, we got a biker scout. Nice gonna be a sniper like the uh, like in the Battlefront games it's a pretty radical looking uh, targeting radical you got there I love the cinematography we got eyes, Captain. this film is beautifully shot Got a guy in a white. Is this gonna be Thrawn? He's a dude in a white cape. I bet this is gonna be Thrawn. Admiral. Grand Admiral Thrawn himself. Who'd have thunk it? Excellent. Excellent indeed. Alive and unspoiled. Yes, as expected. He is a Mandalorian, and do not underestimate him. That's pretty wizard, I gotta say. Truth be told, I've never been a huge fan of the Blue Space Smurf myself, but I do know he's a fan favorite character, so I'm glad they incorporated him into this film. Well done, Director Kendrick. Trip on a rock there, buddy. I wonder if they got the 501st to help them with this film. These costumes are great. He's still just walking. The same could be said for many episodes of The Mandalorian. There was a lot of walking in that show. But yes, from the music and locations, to the costumes and cinematography, this feels like I'm watching another episode of The Mandalorian. It's that good. Don't move, Mandalorian. We have you surrounded. Looks like what we got here is a Mandalorian standoff. 
That shot right there, that's amazing. I'd swear that was right out of the show. This is truly impressive. Most impressive. You should be very proud of your work. Don't even think about it. He's got something in his hands. What? Holy what? smoke, he's pulling a Batman. Although, I believe the Stormtrooper helmets would be able to scan him through the smoke, but, uh... But I bet he's gonna pull a Rambo and take him out one by one. This is gonna be wizard. Yep, he's got his vibroblade. You're about to get space shanked, pal. We can't see anything. Nice. I know I shouldn't be enjoying watching my troops go down like flies, but uh, it's undeniably entertaining. Although I might want to have a chat with the boys in R&D and see if we can develop some armor that uh, actually does something. Might come in handy if we could keep our troops alive. Nice, I love it. It's not Star Wars without the Wilhelm scream. I do wish there were more sparks, if I'm being honest, though. That's the one thing is missing. But other than that, it is most impressive, Director Kendrick. That helmet is gonna look good on my wall. Then come and take it off of my dead body. That's a great Mando voice. Isn't that a little short for a stormtrooper fight? You know, I gotta say, watching this fan film, it just goes to show, if Pedro ever gets tired of playing the Mandalorian, all they gotta do is cast these guys, because it looks exactly like the show. All the cool stuff Mando does is stuntmen anyway, so you don't really need a big name actor for this type of part. Wait a minute, now that I think about it, was he just standing there watching him shank his boss? Who is that? I guess we'll find out in a minute, but... Oh, he's fixing his armor like, uh, earlier in the series. This is nice, it's really setting a mood. You don't see this in many fan films, just taking a moment to slow down a bit after the action. This is really good, it feels like something out of the show. Ah, the Force theme. Nothing ever hits quite as hard in Star Wars as the Force theme. It's a beautiful piece of music. I bet he's thinking about Grogu right now, and how much he misses his little gherkin buddy. Yep, it's the little knob he always played with. This just proves you don't need facial expressions to convey emotion. Who's that? The Sam people, or worse. This cinematography is beautiful. I know I keep saying that, but I'm very impressed. This is one of the most beautifully shot fan films I've ever seen. I'm hearing some Imperial March in that score. So is that some sort of, uh, Sith acolyte watching him, perhaps, back at the camp? Yep, we got a dude in black. What the crap, there's two of them. Nice. This music is exciting, I dig it. This is wizard. This is more the kind of fight I was wanting from, uh, that stormtrooper captain earlier. This choreography is totally wizard. Speaking from experience, it's very difficult doing fight scenes in costume on location. And they're in the desert, so respected the- Oh! Nice. Now that's the kind of hard-hitting action I like to see. Maybe now he'll get the point not to mess with Mandalorians. In fact, 
This episode is really making me think of the episode that Robert Rodriguez directed. It has that kind of gritty vibe. Maybe it's because they're on location, I don't know. But it's really wizard. Oh, he's got one of those electric staff from episode 3. Nice, they got the Fett. We got Boba Fett. That's an amazing Boba Fett voice. Are you still with the child? One of the best I've ever heard in a fan film. Okay. Bow to the Sith. So these are the Sith acolytes. I'm guessing. We're gonna get a lightsaber duel? Oh, come on. You can't do that to me, dude. They can't cut away just when I'm about to see a wizard dark saber duel between the Mandalorian and a Sith Acolyte. You gotta make more of these so I can see what happens. I have to say, this is one of my favorite Star Wars fan films I've ever seen. The passion and dedication it must have taken to create this is truly impressive. And if you ever need a Darth Vader for any future projects, just let me know. This felt like a completely professional production. From the costumes and locations, to the music and cinematography, I honestly felt like I was watching an episode of The Mandalorian. Jon Favreau would be proud. Well done, Director Kendrick. Your skills are now complete. I will watch your career with great interest. The Force is with you. I give this film 5 out of 5 Death Stars. The Mandalorian Chapter 16.5 is impressive. Most impressive. Soldiers of the Empire, this young man deserves far more than 563 subscribers. Perhaps I can find new ways to boost his numbers. Subscribe to his channel to help support this young filmmaker and tell him Vader Reviews sent you. And if you're new to this channel, join the Empire today by subscribing. You do not yet realize your importance. Share these videos and together we will rule the internet. And always remember, you don't know the power of the dark side.